outside tonight. We're gonna get you not another piece. First of all, Evil Dead. From the trailer, you could tell that it is an extremely scary horror flick. Now, the first, the original when it came out, I want to say it was pretty easy for audiences to be scared. Nowadays, we've pretty much seen it all, all the kind of graphics. We've been scared by it all. How difficult or was there any challenge in bringing that scare, that type of scare, to audiences now? I mean, it's always a perception of the times that we've been scared of everything, but it wasn't like that. It's never like that. It's always new things to see, right? Like, um, so I guess, you know, all we had to do was really going out there, trying to make the scary movie we could, and really put no rules and have no constraints, right? Like not, not, never think like, oh, this is going to be too much or whatever. We, we, that was something that we said always on set, like, never is too much. Olivia. That's why, that's why I think the movie is so crazy, scary, but also outrageous and over the top, right? It can end up being this crazy roller coaster ride, right? And there's always some sort of truth in any story, and especially in any scary story, it all like comes from somewhere. This book, is there any truth into like the rituals in there, or like the types of possessions that are in the book? Yeah, I mean, actually, the original film is based on on uh, Book of the Dead. <laughs> It's actually based on um, Egyptian mythology, where they used to find these books like buried with the dead, and they will have, uh, and they will have a lot of incantations and rituals to bring the dead back and stuff like that. So Sam based the original book and in that other book called the Book of the Dead. Okay. They actually and find it pretty, like very recently, they find one of those, actually. I oh, read wow. that on the like news. Oh, discovered yeah. another one? Yeah. Jane, you make a great possessed girl. <laughs> and what kind of led you into this horror flick rather than another conventional either romantic comedy or the type of show that you do already? Um, uh, I was attracted to it for many reasons. One, obviously, because it was different than Suburgatory. Mm -hmm. And another, because it was... Um, it's, while reading it felt like the most outrageous horror film I had ever yeah. read, and it was also a really dynamic character to be able to play as a young woman. the heroine but you're also the villain, the villain but you're also time. the victim at the beginning so I go through so many stages I I was really excited to have a role like that and it seems very physically demanding did you get hurt on set not really I was taken care of oh that's I sweet. fell I remember, remember this the water skidding scene <laughs> yeah I was on some that's sort so of contraption nice. and I flew back and yeah bruised my tail <laughs> Growing up, we're scared of the monsters in the closets, we're scared of the things in the woods. What was your kind of scary monster that you were afraid of growing up? I was all scared of, I was, I've like had this disgusting, morbid fascination with serial killers ever since I was little, so I was always convinced there was gonna be some like man staring at me in my window or under my bed that was gonna like chop me to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> so up. Sorry. <laughs> what about you, Fede? Because I know being Latin, we the scary monsters are the reason why we go to bed, so we don't get in trouble, or the cuckoo is gonna come get you. What kind of scared you growing up? Like a monster itself. Um, I don't know why, but I remember that when I was maybe because I saw the movie as as a kid. But I remember the uh, the Joker on the first Batman movie, like Tim Burton movie. That guy scared me the hell out of it. Jack Nicholson and the Joker. That was so great, disturbing. Scary guy. <laughs> Lastly, possessed people love to curse. What's your favorite curse word? Oh my god. <laughs> you could yell it at me, it's okay. Well, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Probably just some... the F word. Yeah. <laughs> I love to say f. <laughs> but, eh? Yeah, I say f like a lot, probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, in the movie I was doing this research, trying mm -hmm. to come up with the more, the most you know, outrageous you know, yeah. cursing ever because she has one of those moments. So. Oh, definitely. It was really a lot of fun. 
she was there and everybody, even the crew was coming out with stuff and, and telling her lines and she would just be in the stairs just throwing and <laughs> cursing all the way. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much thank for a you. great film and all the nightmares I'm going to have. <laughs>